Okay, well, here we go. Lesson 12.7. It brings chapter 12 to an end. And uh, there's a few different things that need to happen. Once again, though, it's not real difficult, fifth graders. But uh, we're going to go through the whole process so you can kind of see. All right. Uh, so anyway, for every six laps you walk, the sponsor will donate $8 towards your charity fundraiser. How much money will the sponsor donate if you walk 36 laps, complete the table? Well, the first thing we got to establish is the rule, okay? And so basically, when we talk about establishing the rule, we think, what did we do to six to get eight? Okay, what did we do to six to get eight? And so to figure that out, I'd have to do eight divided by six, we know in this, it's just like fractions, proportions, and all that. So I'm multiplying. What did I multiply 6 by to get 8? So I'd have to do 8 divided by 6. Well, 8 divided by 6. Now, this is where we have to think now in terms of kind of algebra-like. Think about dividing fractions. And we want to think of it as a fraction. 8 over 6. 8 divided by 6. And then all I do, fifth graders, is simplify this fraction. I know that 8 and 6 are both divisible by 2, so 8 divided by 2 is 4, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 4 over 3. That is in simplest form. No other number besides 1 can go into both 4 and 3, but as a 5th grader, I should put that as a mixed number. 3 can go into 4 one time. If I take 3 into 4 one time, there'll be 1 left over. My denominator here is 3, so my denominator there is 3. My rule, multiply the number of laps by 1 and 1 third to... Figure out how much money was donated. That's all we're doing. Multiply the number of laps by one and one third to figure out how much money was donated. Write the ordered pairs. If you were to graph it, the ordered pairs... We would use the laps as the x coordinate. We would use the money donated to be the y coordinate. So essentially, we're seeing a pattern here, though. We don't really have to go through the process to complete the table, which we need to do as it says right here. So we should probably do that before we write the ordered pairs. I mean, we can take each and every one of these numbers and multiply it by 1 and 1 third. I could do that. But I should notice that these go up by 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. There's no breaking in that pattern. 8, 16. So I see a pattern where I raised it up by 8. And there's probably going to be no breaking of that pattern. There was no breaking of pattern counting by 6s. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. No breaking of the pattern. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48 dollars. So if I use laps as my x coordinate and I use the money donated as my y coordinate, I see that one ordered pair is going to be 6, 8, 12, 6, 16, 1824 2432 3048 those are my ordered pairs then it tells me to show the data in a graph so i actually have to make a graph with this. So I'm going to pull out my empty thing here. If my x coordinate is going to be the laps, 
I'm going to come down here, lapse, and if we start at zero, we go ahead and make our graph. That's the X. I know I'm going in increments of 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. So I'm just going to do that. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. We're going to go ahead and take those up. Once again, you'll notice I'm not worried about being perfect, but I am worried about being neat and making it easy to read making it big enough so that it's clear. That's what we want. All right, that's my Y coordinate. Now my, my Y coordinate is gonna be the money donated. I'm gonna come over here, money donated, all right. And then it's gonna say, well, I see that it's in increments of eight and that doesn't change. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. So, 0, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. Okay, and then I go ahead. And I put that across. All right. And then I go ahead. My ordered pairs were 6, 8. So 6 and 8. Followed by 12, 16. I see at the next one. 12. And over with 16. I see how easy this is to graph. 18, 24. And 24, 32. Well, I come over here. 18, 24. 24, 32, and then I've got 30, 40, and 36, 48. So I go to 30, up to 40, 30, 40, and the last one, 36, 48. 36, 48, I come down here, go up to the 48, which is where that is. And I go ahead and I connect all of these lines. And pretty much, it's a straight line. You can kind of see that if uh, everything was exactly evenly spaced, it would be a straight line. But we're not perfect, but we are neat. So what that's graphing it. And anything that you graph today is going to be pretty much a straight line. So kind of work to make your graph in that direction. All right, we'll talk to you later, fifth grade. This is 12.7. Bye.